Hey, Blue Bear, well, what's going on? What do you want to do today? Can we go fishing today? Um, uh, yeah, I don't see why not. We got nothing else to do today. You know, I'm just gonna take it easy. Um, yeah, we let's go. Let's go fishing. All right, let me just um, let me go see if I have my fishing pole over here. And yeah, we got the fishing rod, the fishing net. Oh, we gotta get some chicken. Always oh, need your chicken. And the cell phone, just in case we get lost. And always gotta have your weapon blooper. That's one thing every evil villain needs. They always need to carry their weapon. Because you never know what will happen. Let's do this, blooper. Alright. Just follow me. And we shall go fishing and catch all the fish in the sea. Except for the ones that are with us. Believe them. Because we need them. Oh, I haven't been fishing in a while, Blooper. Do you know it's my favorite hobby? I love it. Well, besides being evil, of course. <laughs> uh, let's get some, uh, I don't know, what do you want to try for? Tuna? You want to fish for some tuna today? Some bluefin? Yes, Daryl? What are you calling me? Uh, what, what, what's going on? Boss, I must speak to you privately at once. Ah, oh, come on. Blooper and I were gonna go fishing today. This better not be something bad. Sir, this is very urgent business. I can only speak to you. Blooper can stay here and watch over my desk. Larsa can watch him. <sighs> well, if you say it's urgent, very well. Oh, Blooper, I'm sorry. I guess we're gonna have to, you know, at least delay this fishing trip for now. I gotta go see what Daryl wants. He says it's very urgent, so... Just just stay here, and we'll, we'll be right back. Yeah, let's go, Daryl. I guess we can, we can go upstairs to my room. You can sit down up there and talk. But, I mean, this, this better be important, because Blue was really looking forward to go fishing today. And so wasn't I, to be honest, because, you know, who doesn't love going tuna fishing? We were gonna catch tuna, so we'd have food for all of the tide changers, and... Oh, it's just gonna be a good time. Some father-son bonding time. Alright, just, just... I guess, just sit there for a minute, and we, we can talk here. Alright, Daryl, so what was so important that you had to tell me up here? But sir, the Alithiad guards can hear us. What? They are my loyal guards. If I can't trust them, then who can I? This is really important, sir. Can't trust anyone right now, not even Blooper. You're telling me I can't even trust my own baby Blooper? Have you gone mad, Daryl? We must find out the truth before you can trust anyone. This is not good for the Tide Changers. Fine, I will remove the guards, but this better be legit, Daryl, or I swear... Oh, I'll be very angry with you. What, what could Daryl have to tell me that's so important I can't even trust Blooper? My own baby? This, this can't be good. Oh, this can't be good. Alright. Guards, just, you know, come with me for a minute. We're gonna just, I just gotta have you go downstairs, it'll be two seconds. I just gotta figure out what Daryl knows and... I don't know, apparently it's really top secret, so... I know I can't even test, trust my own guards. I think he's gone mad, but just, just stay here for now, and then uh, I'll let you know what's what's happening later. Okay, the guards are gone now, Daryl. What do you have to tell me? My lord, I have reason to believe that Scorpio was let in by one of our own tide changers, who knew he was an Atlantean here to sent sent here to break out the Cody Maverick. So you're saying we have a spy amongst our ranks? I'm afraid so, my lord. We must discover who it is today, or else we are in great danger. I urge you to hold an investigation today. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. This could be very serious. Alright, let's... Yeah. Just go meet me downstairs, Daryl. You go back to your post, and then I'm gonna start looking into it, okay? And don't worry, I won't let any... I'll try to keep it as quiet as I can. I don't want to let people know we're on to them. Okay, Tide Changers, so we are gonna go question Scorpio now. But we gotta be real careful we don't 
let the uh, everyone know because we don't want them to know what we're doing. Really? You left the door open again? This is this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Um, hey boss. I'm sorry, please don't fire me. I need this job. I, I this this is how prisoners escape. You gotta shut the door. It's not that hard of a concept. <sighs> That's kinda suspicious. Uh so Scorpio. How are you doing? We need answers. Who let you in to the conch command? Who did it? Tell me. I plead the fifth. Tell me or I'll shoot you. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. You mean nothing to me. I plead the fifth. <sighs> Dude. Really? You saw the kind of torture device we're working on over there. When we're chopping off limbs and stuff, you're really gonna plead the fifth? You think that's smart? I plead the fifth. Oh my gosh. This guy's a piece of work. Alright, well, I know what we can do. We're gonna starve you. I'm gonna tell it he's not to feed you. You're not gonna eat until you talk, so... Good job, buddy. You just screwed yourself. It? I need you to make sure you don't feed him. Can't tell you why. But I need to get some information out of him. But, I mean, he's he's over there. Just do not feed him, okay? Yes, sir, I understand. Alright, good. You understand. That's, well, hopefully this guy understands that the door is to stay shut. You make sure people shut the door. That, you see that? That's how it works. You go boom. Boom. Jeez, I tell you what. What? What? Gary. Why? Why was Love Tech? He just moved over a little bit. Oh, so for now, I think what we're gonna do is let's let's. Uh, yes, cranky crab. Hey, boss. Why do you look so stressed out? Need some more ch special chicken? No, I got some. I just you know I'm I'm working on something and it's really you know stressing me out. But thanks again. I got plenty of chicken. I'll let you know when I need a refill. Uh, cranky crab. He's always, he's always so nice to me. Makes me my special chicken. But, uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna write down. We're gonna get a list of suspects going and then start interviewing them. Um, blooper. Hey, blooper. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to go fishing right now, but just stay put. I just gotta figure something out and just Daryl will keep an eye on you. I hope. Oh, what's going on, guards? This is so crazy. I can't. It's sad to think that one of our, one of our, tie changers could actually betray us and be a spy. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. All right. So, let's see. Suspects. My number one suspect has to be the Alithid. You know, the guy has left doors open how many times, guys? Oh, he, he, that's just, that's a little sketchy. Or he could just be that dumb, and he doesn't know how to shut a door, even though that's his job. But, I mean, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but... Innocent until proven guilty. That is, that is true. Oh, number two. Who could be number two? You know who's really fishy? And he always smells like something's going on. Needle face. Oh yes, Needle Face. I never liked the guy, to be honest. I'm just kidding. I like you, Needle Face, but you do smell fishy, so something's going on there. Three. Let's see. Who else is suspicious? You know what? I'm putting, I'm putting Daryl's name on the list. He's the one that said I can't trust anyone, so I can't even trust him by that matter. So you know what? You know, I'm just gonna do it. And four. We'll do Gary. Did you not see the way like he just he scooted over next to us to see what was going on? Before that he was like when we first went downstairs he was way over on the other side. Huh. And we'll put one more 
orders to be good. Do we'll interview five people today and then five people tomorrow until we figure out what's going on. Alright, I say... It hurts to do it, but... <laughs> Blooper? Could he have really been involved with this? I mean, he did show up at the same time that... That Cody went missing. But, I don't know. Hello, Mr. Lithiad. I have some questions for you. Uh, okay. What is this about, though? I'm sorry. I forget to shut the door. I really am. Don't fire me. I have four kids. Please, please, please. Calm down, calm down. I just need to figure out a few things about the, the Cody Maverick, how he escaped. Did you let Scorpio through the gates? Uh, I can't remember, sir. Please don't fire me, though. My kids, think of the kids. I may have, I may, I may, I may have accidentally let the door open that day, but I do remember seeing him. He was talking to one of the scientist guys dressed as a maintenance person. One of the scientists? Do you recall which one? I do not, sir. I'm sorry. I have a very bad memory. Yeah, that is apparent. You may go for now. So he said a scientist guy. Okay, so he said he saw him talking to the scientist guy. That's, it's gotta be Gary. Gary is... We already had suspicions about him. And now he's saying he saw him with next to talking to him. Oh boy. We gotta go. Let's go find Gary right now. We're gonna skip the other suspects. And we're gonna just talk to Gary. I mean, I think we... I don't think he suspects that we're after him yet. But we're gonna go downstairs and just... We're gonna, we're gonna calmly talk to him. Where'd he go? I don't see him. Is he back over here? Gary? Where you at, Gary? Uh, Harold, have you seen Gary? I just had to ask him a few questions. I don't know. He was supposed to be running experience with me today, but he grabbed a plane and said he had to run some errands today. He was acting quite strange. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, please tell me he didn't get away. Oh, I knew it. This is better. I hear the plane. Where is he? Gary, there he is. Oh, Gary, get out of there. Get out of there, Gary. No, no, come back. Oh no, I think I hit him once. Oh, yes, the plane, it went down. Yes. All right, let's go. Haha, <laughs> what a shot that was. All right, let's go get him and put him in a prison cell. Oh, uh, Gary, he was always a weird looking guy anyways. I didn't like him. Gary? Oh, doesn't look like he's here. That's not his body. Gary? Oh no, guys. Hopefully the traps got him. I think he got he got away on foot. I thought that crash would have killed him for sure. Oh no. 